right, this is the last of the uh, boxcar racer lessons. Um, this one's for instrumental. Um, mainly two different parts in the song. There's um, just like a, a softer um, palm muting part, and then there's just like the full out, like heavier riff. Um, there's always been a lot of speculation on what to play for uh, the intro, not or the verse, I guess. Um, just the little palm muting part. Um, I have played it so many different ways because I'm always hearing something different. But as far as I can tell from listening to the song, like as close as I can, all that's happening, um, you basically you start off with a four on the A, and then you go down to a five on the E. You're gonna stay with a four on the A the entire time, um, and you're just gonna be changing the root notes on the E string. Um, but a lot of people would go from the five on the E to the four, and then a two, and then an open. Um, that's actually how I used to play it too, but the only thing I can hear in the song is just going from a 5 to a 4 to a 5 to a 4, and that's really all I'm hearing. I mean, you can play it um, with the 5, 4, 2, 0 if you really want to, um, but I don't think it's going to sound as good. Um, so really all it is is just this. <laughs> confused me is um, there's some other parts in the song that I can't really tell what they are it's just like other instruments that are like slowly fading in like different um, different like bass notes I guess you can say I don't really know if it's a bass guitar playing it or not it might be like a piano or something uh, but say like when I'm going to that last four uh, there's like a bass sound that's making like an open E um, note so it's just like a, a slow like ringing out like a heavier open uh, E sound but I'm pretty positive you're still just playing that four so really all it is is this um, and then you just go into a heavier part um, which is just a few different chords it starts off with an open E and then a two on the a and then a two on the D and then you're going to an octave chord which is an, a six on the A and an eight on the G and then you go back down to that zero two two on the E A D and then you go back up one higher than you did before so it'll be a seven on the A a muted D like always and then a nine on the G so together that sounds like this and then you're gonna go to a four on the E and a seven on the A. And then a five on the E and a seven on the A. So all together it sounds like this. Oh, I, I did mess it up. It goes um, from this chord to that other first first chord. And then it just goes back down to the, uh, that one, the open E note or chord and then back up to that 5-7 so it's not just you're going uh, to this one then this one okay so all that should sound like this uh, you just play that a few times you know it just the whole song just repeats um, so there's nothing really much to learn about that except for how many times you're playing each thing because I know um, you do like the verse chorus first chorus and it's more or less the same I think the second chorus is a little longer and then the third time you play the verse it's really a lot shortened and then the the last chorus is like a lot longer so um, nothing too crazy with that um, as I've said in previous videos I mean I may do more lessons if you guys want I can do other bands obviously I don't have any more uh, box car racer to do unless you wanted bass but the bass is really boring in the whole album anyway um, nothing really uh, going on with it too much I mean there's really only like one or two songs that the bass really stands out for me anyway um, so if you got any questions any uh, requests anything you want me to do just let me know just drop me a comment or a message anything like that um, and that's really all I got thanks for watching and um, keep it coming I guess or I'll keep it coming I guess someone will be keeping it coming <laughs>